Hi guys, so Eddie Marr spoke to a business owner who has decided to up sticks and move his operations to the Netherlands. This follows zero support from Boris Johnson's government. Now he explained how his medium-sized enterprise navigated the difficult waters of Brexit and still managed to stay afloat. But the recent rise in energy prices will drive him out of business if he doesn't move his operations out of the UK. As we saw with Brexit, the Tory government is not interested in providing businesses with the support they need, and this has already forced many to find workarounds such as relocating or just closing down. Have a listen to his story. Uh, yeah, we just gave up. Yeah, we just got a. Uh, we have um, eleven storage and distribution centres for fresh seafood in the UK. Uh, yeah, kind of crab, langoustine, yeah, kind of all fairly high-end products for restaurants and also private delivery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just made the decision Friday. We're, we're, we're just closing our UK business. Oh, no. We're moving it to the, the Netherlands, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Rotterdam area, uh, you know, we can find basically a, uh, an area in Rotterdam to move all of those centres and get a 5.5% cap on energy, so it's important to remember that the cap that's in place or that's in place at the moment in the UK is for residential usage, not industrial usage or corporate usage. So, and we've, we've heard this before, we've heard from um, business owners who are saying that their bills are going up by almost 100% or 1,000%, um, bills going up 10 times. And... Of course, if you're running a small business, you can't absorb that sort of damage. You, you can, in some cases, you can pass it on. In others, it's just astronomical and they can't afford it. While this man is explaining if he moves his operations to the Netherlands, there is a cap on energy bills at 5%. Uh... Basically, the energy costs, we're refrigeration heavy, obviously, because mm-hmm. we're storing crabs and lobsters and all that kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we literally cannot pass on 260% to restaurants and private clients, right? We just can't do it. So, Lee, tell me, yeah, about your, we... tell me about your thinking in recent weeks and months before you reached that momentous decision on Friday. What were the options you looked at? Yeah, so we're looking at, you know, we were looking at, yeah, kind of new contracts. We're looking at energy saving. We're looking at everything. We've got a thousand employees in the UK, right? So, uh, yeah, look, we've given them pay rises. We've supported them through COVID. We've done the whole Brexit debate with fresh fish imports and exports. We've spent six million pounds trying to navigate this government for the last two or three years as a business, right? Uh, you know, we've got no help. There's nothing coming from. Yeah, Rishi, Liz, Boris, whatever. There's no direction at all on what this policy is going to look like in the next 18 months. You can't plan a business without some kind of support on that basis, right? So, look, we've had five months waiting, planning, trying to work out what we do. We're desperately trying to keep the business in the UK and keep the jobs in the UK. But I I can move it to the Netherlands. And I hate to say this, right, but you know, it just prevents us going bankrupt, right? So we, we've just, we have no choice. We've just got to leave the UK because, you know, I, I'm an M in an SME, uh, Eddie, you get that, right? So the medium-sized business, right? So we're, yeah, we're only 20, 22 million pound turnover, but, you know, 1,000 employees. We've been in the UK for 40 years. Um, you know, we cannot operate the business with 260% energy price rises. It just doesn't work. You know, it, 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 it's not just it's not profitable or we dig into reserves or the equity holders take the loss. We, yeah, we, we, we can, we've can. we already absorbed 30%, 40%. Yeah, it just makes absolutely no sense to absorb 260% when I can move it to the Netherlands at significant cost yes. but at least the business has a future. And what happens to your employees here? Uh, they're gone, unfortunately. Yeah, so we just did the it was very sad, yeah, very sad Friday. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, we're just, we're just closing, we're just closing every unit, right? So that's uh, 985 redundancies in the UK. 985 redundancies in the UK. Now he went on to say in the rest of the interview that um, some staff are relocating, but he's talking about 40 or 50 key staff, but the rest of the 900 are going to be made redundant 
and eventually they will have to find other work or they will have to go on universal credit. And the support from Boris Johnson's government is zero. And we've seen this in the same way with Brexit. I remember at the very beginning how many businesses were begging for support, asking the UK government to help them out. And the response from the Department of International Trade was relocate to the EU. If you're having trouble exporting, relocate. They had completely washed their hands of the situation and they're doing exactly the same now. And I think this business owner understands that Boris Johnson is not doing anything and whoever takes over from Boris Johnson is not going to do anything. And a general election, if it's going to go as normal, it'll be in two years time. And we can't wait two years. We can't wait for a change of government. And we can't hope that someone like Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak will actually look at this in a rational way and decide, yeah, actually we need to help businesses. They've seen through Brexit that they receive no support. They receive a lot of rhetoric, but no real support. And they have decided we can't wait for that. We can't wait for an eventual change of government. So we'll relocate to the Netherlands. And we know, you know, energy prices are rising, but there's a cap at least in the Netherlands. So that's something we can control. If we remain in the United Kingdom, we can't control that. Now we've seen numerous examples of this. Small businesses, fish and chip shops, deciding to close because they can't operate with these rising prices. The energy price is going through the roof. And remember, they can't benefit from a cap that residential users can, even though residential users are struggling as well. This is the canary in the, in the coal mine. These are small businesses, medium-sized businesses that are up sticks, up sticks and moving. They're deciding we can't, uh, we can't deal with these costs. And this will mean more job losses and it's going to create a very bad situation in the future because the government should be trying to pull the economy out of this hole, injecting money into the economy, helping businesses out, making sure that they remain in the UK, making sure that they remain employing people. But the Tories just don't give a crap. Boris Johnson, what, what is he doing at the moment? He's on holiday again. Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak are arguing over tax cuts or woke. So many, many businesses are realizing um, our future maybe is not in the United Kingdom. We've been thrown under a bus by Brexit, we're being thrown under a bus with these energy prices. And we can't continue. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.